Hi, and welcome to today's new quick tip. This is Pedro Flores. Today we're going to cover how to actually reload the read nodes on a project when you actually have a pipeline that is already established by your client and you're not the one uh, creating it. So sometimes the major issue that we have is that the client already established a pipeline for us. And as a freelancer, your computer is completely different than the computer on the studio. So usually you will have your own folder structure for the client and then in there you will have your show and in there we'll populate the pipeline that the client gave us. So sometimes this changes from computer to computer, which introduces an error every time that you read your file in. So let's go ahead and open the script that the client provided for us, or the one that you created for the client. And let's go ahead and say no. Nope. And this is one of the issues that will happen, right? So you move this from a computer to another computer, you're working from uh, your home machine instead of a studio machine, and all of a sudden you have this. So the problem that you're going to have is, how do I reload all these guys over and over? Uh, so that way I can set up my project like we do in Maya and everything will read every time I set my project. So the first thing that I do is I try to use a section every time that I start my project where I actually populate my assets. And all the assets that I'm going to use for my comp will be on this section. So that way it's a lot easier for me just to find that section, reload everything, instead of trying to look through my script and see what is erroring out. Okay, so by some reason one of these elements in the script is airing out, I will be able to see it up here right away. Now, the next thing is how do I actually do this? So what I do is I actually go ahead and use clone stamps. You could also use poster stamps for this, but I prefer the clone stamps. This is some of the flexibilities. Um, and in this case, by cloning those nodes and populating through and using them through the script, I'm able to actually just load them up here and um, populate that very, very quickly if something happens. So let's go ahead into the reload process. I'm gonna hit option E to hide all those links. And to reload these guys, you will see that all of them are erroring out. So I'm gonna double click on it to see what is the problem. And the major problem is that they're looking for a different computer or a different folder structure. So what I need to look at is pretty much what is the main folder structure that these are looking for. So usually my show name and all that stuff will be up to here and then this will be my rest of the pipeline. So if I look at my folder structure very quickly, I will see that my show name, after my show name, I will have my nuke structure. So this will be kind of my root. So what I'm going to look at is from here bottom, this is what I need to replace in all my read nodes. But let's go ahead and go to our project settings, hit S before we actually do that. And we're going to take a look and every time you open a script from that location that you open it automatically nuke populates the naming section. And it was going to give you your show name and the actual root folder in there for free. So what we're going to do is we're going to select that, option C to copy it, and we're going to go to the project directory, and we're going to paste that. So maybe that show name might change, so that's why I'm pasting it in there. Maybe they change the code name of the show or anything like that, and you need to have that loaded in there automatically. But the rest of the pipeline section here won't change. They will always use that nuke and so on and so forth, all oh, or a completely different setup. But in this case, this is the setup for this one. So on previous projects or in previous uh, podcasts, I show you how to use the script directory if you were setting up your own new type of pipeline, small pipeline as a freelancer. But in this case, because it's provided for us, this is what we're going to do. So by doing this, we are effectively set up our project directory. So the next thing that I have to do is I have to tell my read notes to look inside that show folder and find all the assets that we need. So what I need to do is I, if I go ahead and I delete the section from the front right there, I go ahead and I delete it and I hit enter. Essentially, effectively, what we're doing is we're telling now um, Nuke to find within that specific folder structure, based on this project, we're telling it to find those assets. And automatically, you will see that it reloads. So how we do it for multiple elements, how we do it for multiple read nodes. So the answer is very simple. You could actually go ahead and use something called search and replace. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all my read nodes over here. I'm going to go to the edit. And I'm going to use the node file name search and replace. Now, before we do this, we need to type the whole folder structure that we had at the beginning of this read node. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit cancel there. I'm going to go to one of my read notes here. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and copy this folder right here. What I need to replace on every single one of my read notes. Go ahead and select your read notes again. And now go back to edit node file name search and replace, and in there just paste what you want to replace. So essentially, that's the address I want to replace in all my read notes. Now replace it with, 
I'm just going to go ahead and remove them completely, just keeping the main structure from Nuke on in there. So I'm going to hit OK, and you'll see that automatically all that gets searched and replaced. So essentially, Nuke is going to go through that, and it's going to find all your assets, and it's going to start reloading those assets. OK. So now that we have that, voila, you will see that now the whole comp is reloaded and effectively my whole script is now working all the way through the bottom finalization stage. So essentially that gives us a very, very quick way of reloading all our assets uh, to be able to get everything on the fly done and so on and so forth. So that's been today's new quick tip. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is Pedro Flores for VFH Longbox. Bye-bye.